Hey guys, what's up and welcome to The Sound of Searching. Can I be honest for a second? Is that okay? Things are weird right now, aren't they? I, I, I can't even decide if I'm cool with it for the change, for the necessity to slow down, or if I'm just over it already. So with this episode, we are just going straight into it from my car, because it feels like the only place I can get alone time or feel alone or even just feel confident and comfortable enough to talk is in my car. So we're doing that. Don't know how the video quality is going to be, don't know how the sound quality is going to be, and I just have to let that go. So I just want to challenge you guys to really take a moment to reflect on what's making you feel so anxious. What's taking away your peace? And if you want to share, go ahead and comment down below what that may be. And you may not be alone. A lot of us are in similar situations and it's just something we have to power through and to surrender it to God, at least for myself, because I absolutely am a woman of faith. And um, But I have notes here about how I've been feeling lately, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm finding it really hard to be at peace with everything. I'm just like constantly in this state of not doing enough, not having enough going on, just not being productive enough. And like, I even did my nails. Like, I don't do that. It's terrible. And whatever. We're just gonna leave it. For myself, like, I, I know I constantly struggle with feeling this incessant need to be productive. I constantly am looking to do a project or to work on something. And I'm just so anxious all the time. It's really irritating. Like, I'm so anxious for the next season of my life, like, because I'm not content where I'm at right now. And this quarantine situation doesn't help. And it's driving me crazy. Staying at home has made me realize not much is really different in my life, but the fact that I don't have control over anything or I can't control the choice to go outside or the choice to actually communicate with people on the level I want to is driving me nuts. I wouldn't doubt if anxiousness has to do with that lack of self-control because I'm just in this state of constantly wanting to move forward into something different and here I am delayed once again for like what my life has felt like. Like what I've strived for has constantly been delayed or it's the inappropriate time to start or whatever it may be. You know, like we all have those feelings of for myself, I know I am very anxious to like get married again. Like I want to start a family. I want to buy my own house, which I'm starting to look into, but like is it practical? Can I even do that right now? I want to have my career figured out. I want it to be solid. I want to move forward in that and like be happy. And, you know, like the list goes on and on. So I don't know about you guys or how you're feeling, but I'm definitely feeling anxious. And I cannot be still. I feel stressed having to stay inside. I feel stressed like having no alone time, there's noise, like, I'm trying to do this YouTube thing and I can't get a moment where I'm, you know, comfortable enough to, like, really talk and share life, and, you know, and, and that stress leads me to feel like I don't want to do anything. I just don't have the energy, no desire to do anything, <laughs> and I'm trying to, like, stay at peace, and I've been doing it on my own. Like, with the wrong method, apparently. Because it's not working. I've never felt more anxious in my life than I do right now. When you try to control things and make them happen on your own time, or you 
push for something that's not ready for you yet in the eyes of God, it's not gonna work. I've been so consumed with trying to be at peace and to find peace in this quarantine situation. You know, like, I'm not, I haven't even been running to the one who can actually grant me peace. I've been trying to do it on my own. And I'll be honest, my relationship with God has gone up and down so much. One week, I feel confident in my relationship with him. And then the next, I am angry. Like, I'm frustrated all the time at him just with how things have panned out in life. I got to this point the other day when I was like yelling in my car. Like I was just so frustrated. Like how did my life get to where it is now? Like what happened to where this beautiful dream and vision of what I aimed to do and set forth to like accomplish in my life is still not gonna happen. (laughs) I don't know when it's gonna happen or when I'm gonna be content with what that looks like. There's been so many elements where I feel dissatisfied with life. Like, my life is delayed or something. Like, my marriage didn't work out. Relationships didn't work out. I'm back at home when I was living on my own. And that's put me in a different place now where I don't have control over how things work. I don't have control over, like little things like I constantly refer to it like I can't even decide where the milk goes (laughs) there's so many elements in life that can be frustrating when you're ready for that responsibility when you're ready for that season of adulthood and for finding more of who you are and doing what you want to do and having those practices and like routines set up for your life like knowing that if you go and reach in that drawer the thing you use all the time is going to be there and it's not going to be an extra five steps to go find something or like you know just knowing where things are (laughs) like it's it's a game changer from day-to-day life and getting rid of frustration as trivial as all that is it's been important to me to like feel control and that's what's been challenging me is to give up control to not be anxious anymore to be still to not hunger for things that aren't necessarily like priority right now you know like this time is an opportunity to spend with God to truly dive into what he's called me to like whether it's sharing my life and this channel and whatever it is like I feel this pressure like I have no time to waste like my life's already been delayed and I have to catch up and that just adds to the tension and instead of trusting that God has a plan for everything that he's like timing it out and that's what matters and it's not in the quality of something or the situation that it's set up in or whatever it is and like it's literally just finding the moments when it's on my heart and I feel inspired and resting and reflecting like these moments for me can actually be an opportunity of stillness because it's calling me to to relax <laughs> to just have conversation with myself, with you guys, with God, and say, what's going on? Like, what am I to do in this predicament, in this situation when I feel so heavy? I feel so alone, and I I just don't understand this season. So, like, can can you talk to me? Like, can you help me understand? Can you help me figure out, like, why I'm so dissatisfied when I honestly have amazing opportunities before me. I have a good family. I have good friends. I have all those things that contribute to a good life. Like, what am I complaining about? Like, I have a roof over my head. I have food in the fridge. I have a car to sit in so I can be alone. And, like, I have my own bedroom, at least. Like, some people don't even have that right now. And I'm just anxious and complaining. And it's honestly really humbling because I'm not being grateful. And where's the peace in that? Where is the peace in complaining? 
there's no room for it. Like, there's no reason to be complaining. This is a season and an opportunity for me to grow and to learn patience again because that's been a constant in my life and I'm sure for most people because patience is hard. It's something we're called to and none of us can seem to figure it out. At least not consistently. Life is never going to slow down this much. Or at least I don't imagine it really will. You know, maybe there's going to be a second wave of this. I, I don't know, but it's not going to be the same stillness. Like right now, you have no choice but to be still. When things start opening back up, it's probably going to turn into more of a decision to go back to life and do your thing and have the risk at whatever standard is set to go back to school, to work, and like all those different things that we used to do on a, a different capacity. And right now we're really forced to like not do anything, but be home, be with people, to be still. God is the giver of peace. He is absolutely like there for you in every single moment you could ever ask for. Like, it's, it's incredible at how many times like we forget there's a solution to our anxieties, to our s lack of peace, to our stress, and it's right there, and we don't call out to him or have conversations with him or choose to really, like, solve it. Very certain that if I were to just surrender and to have that peace and stillness every day with not wanting to be in a different place than I am, to just being satisfied and content with the situation that I'm in, I would begin to find peace. God says, peace be still. Those words go hand in hand. Stillness comes with peace and peace is in stillness. And God is the one who can grant you that peace. And so I have a bunch of verses here like I totally forgot to bring my Bible when I went out the door. I don't mean to take anything out of context. So in Colossians 3.15, it says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. 1 Peter 5.7 Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. John 14.27 Peace I leave with you, may peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Philippians 4, 6-7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every, th every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And the rest I'm going to put just in the notes down below, so you can read them if you would like. Well, that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching The Sound of Searching as I <laughs> navigate life and try and find out more of who I am, and hopefully you do too. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know why. And comment down below um, what's driving you to feel anxious, what's taking away your peace, and we'll have some conversations about it. And if you want to continue to join me on The Sound of Searching, go ahead and click that subscribe button and get notified by clicking the bell icon for when I release the next video. Thanks. It's really hot in this car. California finally started deciding to feel like sunny California and it's hot. I haven't even like touched half of my closet for a really long time and I forgot I own shorts. Yeah, breaking those out. Totally. Short season, here we come. Now I just need to go buy some tank tops because I hardly own any. I just want to challenge you guys to take a moment 
and rest. You know, like go outside, reflect on the insides of you, and you know, like get some fresh air. That always helps. Don't sit in a, a hot car because, yeah, it's hot. Whether it's 10, 5 minutes, 1 minute, an hour, whatever you want to make it, just, you know, go sit. Don't think about much. Don't produce. Don't feel like you have to be productive. <laughs> and don't plan. Don't plot. And be anxious for nothing. <laughs>